So, you know, I, I saw this too, you know, in the last seven years. Become like, you know, crazy independent people. They became friends, they became a couple, they became a partner. Uh, I saw them going in amazing vacation, making all of us jealous with their Facebook and Instagram pictures. Right? I saw them like, you know, hosting beautiful parties, genuinely laughing with each other. I saw them like, you know, being sad together. I saw them fight. I saw them, you know, learning how to resolve your fight, right? I saw them learning how to make beautiful kids. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, Brandon has a lot of potential. <laughs> the guy's smart, he's caring, he's athletic, has amazing abs. <laughs> and, and, and loves you really much, very much. So I think we can work with that, right? I also distinctly remember the time I met Hatchley for the first time. Uh, I was playing on the court and, you know, between points, and at some point I hear this like very enthusiastic woman three courts away from me. That's Ashley. And you know, like since then Ashley, we became you became a very important part of my life, the life of my family. You are you're always very welcoming, you're always very cheerful. Trust and confidence for us, um, and you're always there for us. So I also couldn't hope for a better friend. So <laughs> don't make me cry already. No, that's, that's not the intent. <laughs> I met you nearly eight years ago when I was heartbroken, wild, and neither of us, neither of us was ready for commitment. It was perfect. <laughs> we paddleboarded, we danced, we attempted volleyball, or I did, I guess. <laughs> um, we cooked together. Life was simple. I remember being attracted to your honesty and how steadfast you were in your decisions and your abs. I thought, wow, maybe one day he'll, his decision would be me. <laughs> your mind is so made up and you never waver on your decisions. So when you asked me, <laughs> I just knew it was <laughs> So look at us now. We've seen the world together. 
world of our own. We've gone lost in foreign countries and also lost our inhibitions and jumped off cliffs into uncharted waters. And yet the biggest adventure yet is our children. <laughs> you know, I, I thought the sexiest you could be was on the beach shirtless playing volleyball, but I was wrong. Watching you dance with Harper and giggle with Cohen surpasses it all. You are an amazing father and I fall in love with you more and more each time I watch you with them. So daily, I guess. <laughs> so I vow to parent patiently with you and to communicate with you. I vow to share my hopes and my dreams and also my fears and I vow to listen to yours. I bear to vow to share this skill with our children and teach them to be honest and steadfast like their father. I vow to make you cookies when you ask with a twinkle in your eye. <laughs> I laugh at the silly dances you do to end our fights. I vow not to, bed to go to bed angry and to serve Franzi at our 10-year anniversary. <laughs> Love you. You're welcome. and father I can be. I'm vowing to always try to make you laugh, support you in your goals and dreams, and always make sure you have water by your bed at night. <laughs> I love that you can have fun no matter what you're doing or who you're with. We both share an energy to continue learning, growing, and being the best at whatever we do. You showed me a new way to love life and appreciate all the other moments. I look forward to new adventures, days at the beach, game nights, and traveling the world with you. I know that even if life gets hard, there's nothing that you and I can't do together. I'm excited for the new life we're gonna to continue to build as we start this new chapter of married life. By the authority vested in me by the American Marriage Minister and the State of California, I now officially pronounce you husband and wife.